All right, here is your Comet Position Finder for next week. And so remember that I'm making these guys with the skylive.com. It's an online planetarium. You plug in what you want and the time of day, the day, your actual location, and it will give you celestial objects. Now, this sky map looks a little different because I zoomed out because there's a new big bad boy on the horizon. It's called Comet 2020, and it was found with the SWAN system, and it's Comet F8. And the reason that I'm throwing this guy in here is because he's visible right now without binoculars. The problem is that he's literally up in the sky during our daylight hours, but that's going to change. So let's start with this. This sky map is set for May 13th which is next Wednesday. And if we look at the weather map, it says it's gonna be mostly clear that night. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a little cold considering the weather that we've had, oh well. This looks like the best night to go out and view. So we're starting at eight o'clock. I know it says zero, zero UTC. And just like I've said in all the previous ones, that's because this is universal time, which is not the same time as Eastern Standard. This is 8 p.m. on Wednesday the 13th. Well, you'll notice big old bright ball. The sun hasn't set yet. Yes! That means it's hard to view celestial objects, but don't worry, we'll get there. So here's your western sky, and here's your northern sky. So those are your two major points. And here is Venus. It's still big and bright in the sky. There's Mercury. Mercury follows the sun. It's so close. It's never more than six degrees away from the sun at any point in time. Okay, so let's look back here. Here is your Ursa Minor Polaris, the little bear or the little dipper. And here's that minor star that we've been using off of Ursa Major, the big bear or the big dipper. Here is Gemini, the twins. Here's Orion laying on his side. There's his belt. There's his shoulders. And here is the W crown of Cassiopeia. All right, we're going to start with Atlas Y1. Atlas is at the very top of this sky map because I wanted to show you Swan. So there's Y1. Not that far away from Ursa Major at this point. Here is Y4, the one that we've been focusing on the entire time whose closest pass is about the 23rd of May. And then here is Swan. Okay, so yeah, it's below the horizon at this point. Don't worry, that's going to change as we advance. So I'm going to shift ahead an hour because the sun's up. You can't see anything. We are now at 9 p.m. <clears throat> the sun is just below the horizon. Things are starting to get dark. Well, Swan dropped off of our visibility because of the rotation of the planet. Not a problem. Here is Orion's belt. Orion is getting ready to set in the west. There's his two shoulders. There is Venus. Keep track of Venus as your reference point now for the comets. And here is the Milky Way band. There is the W crown of Cassiopeia. And here is Polaris on Ursa Minor. So Ursa Minor is going to wheel around, and there's that minor star of Ursa Major. And here is Comet Y1. So Y4 is just slightly above Venus. <clears throat> so you're going to have to use Venus as your reference point. Let's advance another hour. So we're now at 10 p.m. So there is the bright shoulder of Orion. And there's your Milky Way band. There's the W crown of Cassiopeia. Venus, there's Atlas. And there's Atlas. And here is the wheeling of Ursa Major. And there's Polaris. Okay, let's advance one more hour. We're now at 11 p.m. Venus has just set at this point. And there's your Atlas Y4. There's your W crown of Cassiopeia. There is Polaris and the Dipper. 
Here is Ursa Major. So there's Y4. And those are the minor stars that we were paying attention to the entire time off of Ursa Major. And so there is Y4. Okay. I'm going to advance you a couple of days at this point. Don't worry. I will give you other position videos between this video and the advancement that I'm giving you. It's now May 21st. It's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the reason that I advanced you like this is so that you could see what's going to happen because this is what we want to go out and watch. Keep in mind that the comets are named based off of the group that found them. So Atlas is named off of the Atlas system. Swan is named after the Swan system. And so Y1 and Y4 Atlas were found in about December um, of last year. Swan F8 was found this year, February. Okay, so this is a pretty relative new comet. And as of today, the day that I'm filming this, which is May 6th, it's at a visibility of 5.6. So that means you can see it when you go out into the night sky. And the magnitudes are going to get brighter. So as time advances, it's going to get brighter and brighter. It's going to be easier and easier to see, they're saying. So we can see this one right now. But so I set this one up for the 21st at 9 p.m. just so you could get an idea. There's the north. There's the west. Here is Orion. There's the bright shoulder of Orion. There's Venus and Mercury. Oh, look, they're really close. That's because Venus is getting closer and closer to the sun. Because those two are so close, it's going to get brighter. That's part of why Venus is getting so bright. There's Gemini. There's the crown of Cassiopeia, the W. Okay. Here is Polaris. Ursa Minor, the Little Dipper. This is Ursa Major. Here are those two minor stars that we have watched the entire time. So there's Comet Y1. And it's still just at the point where it's going to be binocular to naked eye viewing at this point. Here's Y4. Same thing. Here is Swan. Okay? The F8 comet. And it is bright enough that you can see the trail. So Swan is rising as the Atlas comets are starting to set. Okay? So I really recommend that you get out there and you look for these guys. Because while comets pass quite a bit through our skies, they're not always visible. And comets are fun to watch because they're this bright little ball with a nice long trail. So this is the new guy to watch. He's rising and he is bright enough that we could see him. So once again, here's the plug for the program. It's the skylive.com online planetarium. You plug in your object, you tell it the day, you tell it the time, it'll show you where it is, which is wonderful. Go out and view when you have a chance. As those skies clear off as we get into summer, go ahead and go out and view. Um, Atlas Y4, its closest pass is here about the 23rd, and that's going to be the brightest, and then it's going to start to fade off. Okay? So, Happy viewing, and I wish you the best to see these comments.